Welcome to NASDAQ Trade Talks. I'm Jill Malandrino, Global Markets Reporter at NASDAQ. Joining us for this segment, we have Sergio Fogel, founder of the Punta Tech Meetup, to discuss the event where technology leaders from Latin America and the world gather every year. Sergio, it's great to have you with us. Welcome to Trade Talks. Thank you very much for having me. Tell us more about the event and how you came up with the idea of a tech summit 14 years ago. Okay, uh, the event started, uh, we used to have a, a blog and uh, there were readers all over the, the area and we said, okay, maybe let's uh, get together uh, just with the readers of the blog. And uh, we met in, in my house in Punta del Este, which is a very beautiful uh, area. Uh, bought some beers and uh, it was started as something, uh, just a gathering of a group of friends. And then it uh, started to grow and grow. And every year we brought uh, more uh, people and more sponsors and uh, uh, more interesting uh, speakers. And uh, it got to the point of uh, before, the, before COVID, we had uh, 1,500 people. Uh, last year we had to do it uh, uh, semi-online. Uh, uh, we had gatherings of people in different places all uh, gathered through technology. And this year we are very excited to have it uh, in, pe in person once again. It's a very, very exciting. It's a bit uh, smaller event because of uh, uh, pandemic uh, restrictions, but uh, still we're going to be uh, uh, over five, 500 people. Sergio, tell us how the tech ecosystem has evolved in Latin America. The last uh, few years have been amazing. It's been, uh, th there was always a, a relatively small ecosystem of uh, technology. Uh, what we've seen in the last uh, few years uh, was a, a massive inflow of uh, venture capital at this, uh, and lots of uh, kids uh, wanting to start companies. Uh, there's always been a lot of talent in the region. But uh, after some uh, recent events, uh, in, in the case of Uruguay in particular, after uh, my other company, which is uh, the local IPO, lots of uh, kids want to have their own unicorn. So there's uh, lots of uh, entrepreneurship and lots of uh, VC joining the region. So we are seeing a very, very exciting uh, uh, region. What do you expect the key themes to be for this year? We'll have uh, uh, four uh, speakers, uh, two that come from the entrepreneurship uh, area and two from the uh, invest investment side. Uh, we'll have uh, one person from uh, Citibank, uh, from Andreessen Norowitz. Those are the two uh, financing side. And then we'll have uh, Sumita Pandit, which is the uh, chief operating officer of uh, D-Local. She'll be talking about how she sees the region from outside. She's in, in a Uruguayan company, but uh, she's originally from India and she uh, she lives in, in the Silicon Valley. So it will be very interesting to see her perspective of, of the region. Uh, and then we'll have uh, Noam Bardin, uh, who used to run uh, Waze until I believe uh, one year ago. He's uh, also international, he's Israeli, but he's been living in California. Uh, so we'll have a bit of those uh, two, two different uh, sides of, uh, of uh, entrepreneurship in Latin America. So when, you when we talk about um, technology, is it specific to one sector or the other? Is it fintech? Is it other areas of tech? What, what areas of technology are really key for the Latin uh, American geography? Yeah, I would say um, fintech is very, very hot. Um, when you see entrepreneurship, entrepreneurs come normally to bring efficiencies into an existing market. And what we see throughout Latin America is that there is a lot of inefficiencies, uh, lots of friction in many different things, especially in, in payments and, uh, and in delivery of, of goods. So we are seeing a lot of activity in those uh, two fields mainly. But some, uh, we are seeing also some very interesting uh, core technologies, companies that are developing things for the whole world, not just for the region. Um, but in FinTech in particular, we, we see very exciting things, uh, new banks uh, or challenger banks like, like new bank coming to the region, lots of activity in, in crypto, uh, very exciting stuff in, in, in crypto happening. Um, in part because of capital controls that force people to find ways around uh, around uh, 
uh, unreasonable regulation sometimes. Uh, we see some fields that are only now starting, like uh, insure tech, insurance is something that is uh, very, very traditional uh, still through insurance agencies. So we are seeing a very big leapfrog. Um, you name it, there's lots of action in, in every every aspect of, uh, of uh, the technology, uh, again, especially fintech. All right. Sounds like a fantastic opportunity, Sergio. Thanks for joining us on Trade Talks. I'm Jill Malandrino, Global Market Reporter at NASDAQ. It was great uh, being with you. Thank you very much.